everybody, you're watching Ballerina Badass. My name is Georgia Reed, and today we are talking about bunions. Now, this is the one that's so hard for me. Just up, lifting up the big toe and down. Now, just lift up uh, the pinky toe. It doesn't want to do it yet. And down. Sometimes I have to do it manually with my hands a couple times and go, this is what it's going to be like. And down. Go, 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 gadget. Pinky toe. Oh, well, it's moving away, but it still wants to lift with all of its brothers. <laughs> And then keep the pinky and the big toe down and just lift the middle toes. Oh my god, it's so like Kill Bill. Wiggle your big toe. Uh-uh. <laughs> Even if you can't do it, don't get discouraged. Keep on trying. It may not happen, but just the process of thinking about getting your toes to move individually, separately, in different patterns. Now maybe try and keep the three middle toes down. Sometimes I'll hold my thing down and then lift the big toe and the pinky toe. Ah, oh, my foot doesn't want to do that. Oh wait, it's doing it! Yay, a little bit! <laughs> but just thinking about it, you're changing patterns in your foot and challenging it to go in new and different directions. Ah. Oh my god, does not want to do that. So those are really great. Another great one, toe tapping. Toe tapping. It's kind of boring, but actually it's best if you don't sit up against something in the back, but try and sit up straight while you are toe tapping. Toe tapping, 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 tapping. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, such a nerd. Yay! Okay, so then this is really great. Okay. Get a big rubber band like off of um, those fresh broccoli spears at the grocery store um, or, you know, get them at Staples, but it's thick, thick. And you put it over the two big toesies like that. Now, if that's all you have to work with, you can just do that. Get the feet parallel and line up with your knees and with your hips and then just isolate the toes like that. You can play with how that feels. Ooh. But then also, you can take, this is like a blue squishy ball, and it's, it's pretty squishy, not too hard, and you can put that between the two bunions, and now there's some more resistance there, and it sort of keeps them in line. And I can slowly work that big toe alignment. So these are all exercises to play with both before and after class. Definitely after class I give my feet a nice massage and just again sort of like to shake out all of the zhuzh of class or of rehearsal and um, give the toes a little bit of love. I love also to give myself a foot bath when I go home. So often times I'll just use lukewarm water. There's something about lukewarm water where it's not too cold, where I go, Ugh! I've used cold water before with ice or hot water. There's benefits to using those as well. And sometimes I'll put in Epsom salt, sometimes I'll put in some essential lavender oil or maybe even some bubble bath, but then, you know, wash them off afterwards. But it just sort of gives my feet that feeling of, ah, oh, bath time, and we can relax, and it feels really good. So the two articles that I found specifically that I loved about bunions, one was from Dance Magazine, and it's talking about uh, strengthening exercises for your core, doing core work exercises. They give you really great ideas for how to strengthen your core that will then help your leg alignment, which will then help take the pressure off of your bunions. It talks um, in detail about the alignment of your legs and how things are turning in or turning out and how that affects your feet or if you're letting your arches fall. So definitely check that one out. The other article that I love comes from Dance Spirit magazine and it's talking about, well, what do you do if you do have to get surgery? And I love that because what it says is, yes, you can get bunion surgery and yes, you can dance again. And it's true. I actually have a friend who had bunion surgery and six months later, and this woman I think was in her 30s or 40s, so it's not like she was, you know, 16. 
Six months later, she was back on point. Now, this was a very good doctor um, out here in Los Angeles, I think with UCLA Hospital. You want to find a good surgeon if you're going to do it. But check out that article from Dance Spirit Magazine and see what you think of that. But it gives me hope as a dancer so that if there came a day where somehow my bunion started giving me a lot of pain, I have an option. But I have noticed that since I've been doing extra PT, wearing the proper shoes, also giving my feet a lot of massage work, and then at night uh, wearing things like this that can help sort of um, realign your toes, all of these things have helped me. Which, side note, these are really, they look really ghetto, but they're awesome. Um, they are cool toe realigners. So you pop it on like this. Um, I will I'll also have the link to where to find these in the box below. There's um, a great little video on YouTube showing 10 different ways, 10 different items that help relieve bunion pain. I know a lot of dancers use toe spacers in their point shoes, and that helps them. I, for some reason, I can't use toe spacers. It, they, it, it's too much pressure. My toes don't like it. My toes want to be left alone, but for you, it might work. But anyways, you put the little thingy on and you go to sleep with this thing on and it's pretty cool sometimes it rubs wrong on my feet because of the plastic and stuff and I'm like what's that on my foot and I'll wake up in the middle of the night and be like get it off of me but they can be very helpful so the big thing that I've been doing that has been helping me with my bunion problem is working on my alignment as I have been increasing my turnout in my hips opening up my hips using uh, Pilates to strengthen my turnout and rotation so that I can actually hold it. It's like it's one thing if your hips can go there, but it's another thing if you can hold the position while lengthening, etc. It's taken the pressure off of my feet. So many dancers, including myself, used uh, will use their feet to fake turnout while your hips and knees are still going in other directions. It's not good, and it puts a lot of pressure on your bunions, and it's, it's not good. So I highly recommend looking into that. Those are the main things. Uh, continue to do your research, give your feet love, and you hopefully should be able to dance a long time pain-free. Worst case scenario, you can get bunion surgery and you can still dance on point after the surgery. So I think that's it for today. Rachel, I hope this helps you out. I hope you all liked this video. Never give up, never stop dancing. My name is Georgia Reed. You're watching Ballerina Badass. I love you all. Toy, toy, toy.